Hi dear students, my name is Ikra Mushtaq. I am vocational trainer agriculture. My vocational training partner is BFL. Today our topic is cultivation of fodder crops. We will see what are fodder crops and we will try to study different types of crops. First of all, forage crops. Forage crops are grass and legume plant species that are grown to feed livestock as well as for conserving land that means protecting natural lands and returning developed land to its natural shape. Fodder crops. Fodder crops are the plant species that are cultivated and harvested for feeding the animals in the form of forage. That means they are cut green and fed fresh to animals or cultivated for silage making and hay making so that they can be fed to animals during lean season. Major fodder crops. Major fodder crops are maize, cowpea, alfalfa, oats, persim and jowar. First of all, we will study cultivation of maize. Maize is grown as food crop as well as fodder crop to feed animals. Here we will study cultivation of maize as fodder crop. Sowing time. Maize is usually grown as kharif crop but in South India, maize can even be sown any time from April to October as climate is warm even in the winter season. That's why we can see so many sowing uh, dates or so many sowing time for fodder maize. Seed rate. Seed rate is 40 kg per hectare. When I say 40 kg per hectare, I mean 40 kg per 20 canal. One hectare is equal to 20 canals. Spacing. Row to row spacing in fodder maize is 30 cm and plant to plant spacing is 15 cm. Fertilizer. Nitrogen is given at the rate of 30 kg per hectare. Phosphorus is given at the rate of 30 to 40 kg per hectare and potassium is given at the rate of 20 kg per hectare. Soils. Fodder maize can be grown on variety of soils, but well-drained fertile soil are best suited. Well-drained soils are the soils which allow water to drain at a moderate rate so that plants have enough time to absorb water. And they do not allow water pooling or water puddling. Harvesting Fodder maize is usually harvested 60 to 65 days after sowing when cob is at milking stage. Now, cob is a part of plant on which seeds grow and milking stage it's a stage in development of maize when kernels are full of milky white fluid. Variety of fodder maize is African tall. It's a famous variety of fodder maize. Yield per hectare is 30 to 40 tons per hectare. When I say ton, I mean 1000 kg. One ton is equal to 1000 kg. That means 30,000 to 40,000 kg per hectare. Second is cultivation of cowpea. Sowing time is February to May and June to August. Seed rate of cowpea is 35 kg per hectare. Spacing is 30 to 45 cm between the rows and 10 to 15 cm between the plants. Fertilizer. Nitrogen is given at the rate of 15 kg per hectare. Phosphorus is given at the rate of 90 kg per hectare. And potassium is given at the rate of 30 kg per hectare. Soil. Cowpea can be sown or cowpea can be grown on well-drained loamy soils. Harvesting. First cut is done after 40 to 45 days after sowing and thereafter 30 to 35 days after first cut. Variety. Cowpea 88 and Russian giant. Yield is 35 tons per hectare in 2 to 3 cuttings. Then alfalfa. Alfalfa is also called queen of forages because of quality and yield potential of alfalfa. Sowing time, suitable for year-long cultivation. That means it can be grown round the year. Seed rate is 30 to 40 kg per hectare. Spacing is 25 cm between the rows is maintained and 10 cm between the plants. Fertilizer, nitrogen is given at the rate of 25 kg per hectare. Phosphorus is given at the rate of 120 kg per hectare. And potassium is given at the rate of 6, uh, 40 kg per hectare. Soil. Alfalfa can be grown on sandy loam, sill loam and clay loam soil. Harvesting. First harvest is done 65 to 70 days after sowing. After that an interval of 20 to 25 days after the first cut, second cut is taken. Variety. CO2 and CO3. Yield 80 to 130 tons per hectare. Oats. Another important for, uh, fodder crop is oats. Sowing time is October to November. Seed rate is 100 kg per hectare. Spacing is 35 to 25 to 30 cm between the rows. Fertilizer 80 kg nitrogen 
per hectare and phosphorus is given at the rate of 40 kg per hectare. Soil well drained loamy soils are best suited for cultivation of oats. Harvesting is done 120 days after sowing. Varieties are Kent and Algerian. Yield is 60 to 50 to 60 hectare. Bursine. Sowing time of bursine is October November. Seed rate is 20 to 25 kg per hectare. Row to row spacing should be 25 cm. Nitrogen is given at the rate of 20 kg per hectare and phosphorus at the rate of 40 kg per hectare. Medium to heavy soils are best suited for cultivation of bursine. Harvesting is done uh, 60 days after sowing and sub subsequent cuts are taken 25 to 30 days after the first cutting. Variety Usa Giant is an important variety of bursine and yield is 60 to 80 tons. Next, we'll move on to Jowar, which is also called sorghum. Sowing time is March, April, June to August, and from August to November. Seed rate is 35 to 40 kg per hectare. Spacing row should be 25 cm apart. Fertilizer nitrogen is given at the rate of 60 kg per hectare. Phosphorus is given at the rate of 40 kg per hectare. And potassium 2 is given at the rate of 40 kg per hectare. Soil, sandy loam soils with good drainage are best suited for cultivation of sorghum. Harvesting, first cut is given 40 to 45 days after sowing and subsequent cuts are given 30 days after the first cut. Varieties, Jawahar Cherry 69 and yield is 45 tons. That was all.